When you come here, you feel so far away from the rest of the city. Um, it's really this peaceful, beautiful location on the river, but it is also hard to get to. Carissa Hassong is executive director of the National Ornamental Metal Museum. She says the decision to expand some of the museum's operations to the vacant Rust Hall at the Memphis College of Art comes as the River Bluff location is simply running out of space, and this new site will be easier for the public to get to. It's very central, it's easy to get to, you can get to, you know, you can ride your bike there, you can walk, you can take public, public transportation, and that was something that was really appealing to us. Good news for Philip Inge, who lives near the vacant College of Art and is a Metal Museum fan. And we're thrilled. We're happy that they're going to be there. We think it's a great fit. The move means more space for exhibitions, permanent collections, and instructional classes, and more room for a working blacksmith and foundry. The Metal Museum has a 100-year lease agreement with the City of Memphis at $1 a year. The museum has raised half of the projected $25 million cost. And while the Metal Museum is moving into an architectural masterpiece, plans are to keep the historical location near the I-55 bridge for an artist-in-residency program. That means more space and time to create or work on commission projects with artists able to devote their full time and concentration to what they love. We're sort of at capacity on every front at the museum here, like our collection and our exhibits will be able to grow substantially. We'll have much more room for showing new artwork that comes in, new acquisitions. Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3. All right, more visibility. The Memphis College of Art closed its doors in 2020 after 81 years. Debt and falling enrollment were blamed for the closure.